in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers and warm welcome to carmel light reflection on the day's gospel it's the 22nd of february and today we celebrate the feast of the chair of saint peter the apostle the holy gospel according to matthew chapter 16 verses 13 to 19 At that time when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi he asked his disciples Who do men say that the son of man is And they said Some say John the Baptist Others say Elijah and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets he said to them but who do you say that i am simon peter replied you are the christ the son of the living god and jesus answered him blessed are you simon bar jona for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you but my father who is in heaven and i tell you you are peter and on this rock i will build my church and the gates of hades shall not prevail against it i will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ Peter's confession and Jesus' passion prediction mark a watershed moment. From this point on, there is no turning back for Jesus, for Peter, and even for us. Today we are celebrating a very interesting feast the chair of saint peter this feast is not exactly in honor of a person as most are most of the feasts are in honor of a person but this is not nor of an event as others are but of a chair of course we are not commemorating a piece of furniture today the chair in question is chair like chairman a position an office We celebrate today the founding of the position of the leader of the church. Jesus Christ is the head of the church. This office is no way replaces his office of high priest and king. God did not need Noah to build the ark and he did not need Simon Peter to lead the church. 
he chose to allow us humans positions of dignity and cooperators of his grace peter made the confession or the profession of faith you are the christ the son of the living god and after this profession jesus renames him kephas which in greek is petros jesus bestowed to peter a special place among the apostles he was one of the three who were with christ on special occasions such as the transfiguration of christ and the agony in the garden of gethsemane he was the only apostle to whom christ appeared on the first day after the resurrection peter in turn often spoke on behalf of the apostles was often the first to answer however he was not without faults and was thus reproached often by christ the church in its 2000 years of history has seen glorious events challenging conflicts turbulent times and dark moments but the very fact that the church has survived those moments only goes to show that the pope successor of saint peter draws his authority from christ and that the spirit of christ is even today guiding the church my dear brother and sister the responsorial psalm psalm number 23 gives us an overview of how the good shepherd cares for the sheep of god's flock it thus becomes a role model for others to share in the role of shepherding the flock of god with the good shepherd around the members of the flock have no worries for the sins that the shepherd will provide for them and lead them to green pastures and refresh them besides clear water even if the sheep have to travel along dark and scary paths they do not fear for the shepherd is there with the staff to protect them and keep them on the right path the shepherd provides a rich banquet for the members of the flock while the enemies of the sheep look on longingly the shepherd makes sure that the sheep enjoy goodness and kindness all of their days as they journey to the house of the lord let's pray that psalm now Your response The Lord is my shepherd there is nothing I shall want The Lord is my shepherd there is nothing I shall want The Lord is my shepherd there is nothing I shall want Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose New restful waters he leads me he revives my soul The Lord is my shepherd there is nothing i shall want He guides me along the right path for the sake of his name Though i should walk in the valley of the shadow of death no evil would i fear for you are with me your crook and your staff will give me comfort The Lord is my shepherd there is nothing i shall want You have prepared a table before me in the sight of my foes my head you have anointed with oil my cup is overflowing The Lord is my shepherd 
there is nothing i shall want surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life in the lord's own house shall i dwell for length of days unending the lord is my shepherd there is nothing i shall want glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen pray for god's blessing now may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister we remember today all those who are celebrating their birthdays especially akash pinto from bengaluru linet de souza from mira road mumbai margaret hilda de souza from dubai don manoj noronna from shirwa udupi santan sos from kanpura belgaum wish you all a happy birthday god bless you henry and gracie de souza from Heranje Brahmavar are celebrating their wedding anniversary today. Congratulations dear friends. May God bless your family life. And we pray for the departed soul of Basil Mathias from Manchakal Shirwa, Philip de Souza from Sastan Udupi, Consus Rosie Lobo from Gatkopar Mumbai. Mr and Mrs Innocent Lopez from Malaysia may the lord grant them eternal rest that's all for today my dear friends have a great tuesday and also greetings of the feast of the chair of saint peter see you tomorrow bye bye